Hello everyone and welcome to this new tutorial on using ArcGIS. Today I'm going to explain how to clip a Rasta image using two methods, two different methods for clipping a Rasta image. Now this Rasta image could be a satellite image or aerial image, digital elevation model or di digital terrain model, etc. Any kind of Rasta image, we can apply these methods that I'm going to explain. So let's start after you open ArcMap guys you would go to the search as you can see here on the right you can't see it you would click here on the search here guys click here and then you would have search window on the right you will search for clip we are going to use the tool clip And then once you have uh, the results, you will click on this option, which is clip using data management. And then you will have this window. Now I'm, I'm going to explain the first method for clipping a raster image. In the first method, guys, we are going to use the coordinates of two corners of the area of your interest. So let's say that you have an area like this one here. You have this aerial image and you would like to clip this um, area here if you know the coordinates of two points this one and this one here for example okay you can use the coordinates for clipping the area for example I know now the coordinates of uh, these two points so this point here imagine that you have x-axis here and y-axis here so here you have minimum x which is this one minimum y which is this one for point one let's call this as a point one here and this is a point two and the coordinates of point two have them here so if you know the extent of your area the minimum and maximum x the minimum and maximum y then you can apply this method you would go here, you would say, okay, I know the rectangle for my area. You would write down here the minimum and maximum y value and the minimum and maximum x value. And then you would be able to extract your area or to clip your area. Let's apply this. All right, so now I opened ArcMap and then I will start to go to search here and then I will write down clip here and now I have the results I will go to clip data management here one click here and I will have this window okay before I complete just let me add my data so the data that I'm going to clip so I will have from here I will add my data so let's say this is my data here the area that I'm going uh, to clip now let's say guys that I know the coordinates for the area that I want to clip for the rectangle that I want to clip let's open the clip window here from here and now I would add the image that I would like to clip here guys so from here I will add this image this is the image that I'm going to clip and I would provide the coordinates minimum and maximum x, minimum and maximum y. So I will add them here and then I will get back to you. Okay guys, now I added the coordinates of the um, rectangle or of the area that I want to clip out. Here I have x minimum, 3, 3, 4, 2, 5, 5, x maximum and I have y minimum here and y maximum there. So I have the coordinates of the geographical extent for my area to clip out now here so I would say okay I'm uh, okay with the location of the output file here so I would say okay now the process has been completed now so let's see our area so this is the area that I have clipped out as you can see here and this is the original image and this is the area that I have clipped by providing the coordinates of the corners here this corner 
x minimum, y minimum, and this corner, x maximum and y maximum. Okay, so this is the first method for clipping an area. Now the second method, guys, for uh, clipping an area, in this method we are going to create a shape file for the area that we are going to clip out. And then we are going to use this shape file for clipping out the area. So in this case, guys, here we will input the original image that we are going to clip. And here, this is important, we are going to provide the shape file that we are going to use, as you will see now. And we are going to tick this box here. This is very important, guys. We are going now to tick this box here, which says, use input features for clipping the geometry. So we will use this feature that we provided here, okay, to clip the area. So in this case, we don't need to provide any coordinates. We are going just to provide a shape file and then based on the shape file, we are going to cut out or to clip out the area of our interest. And here, of course, you are going to provide the output location and name, etc. So let's apply this method. In this method, guys, first we need to create a shape file for the area. So guys, let's go to our catalog here to create a shape file. Let's say that I'm going to create a shape file in this folder here. I will right click here and then I would say new and then new shape file for example if you are working in a geodatabase of course you can create feature class however to keep it as simple as I can I will create a shape file one click here and then let's name this shape file for example SA for study area and then this is the name of it and then here, uh, the type of the feature class, sorry, the shape file is polygon, for example, here. And then I would say, okay. Now I need to edit. I will start editing. On oh, my shape file that I have created. You can see it now here on the, on the left guys under layers. This is the shape file study area that I have created. Now I will start editing on this shape file. Go to edit here guys. Go to the create features now and then click on the file and then let's say that I will pick a polygon shape like this and then start to editing the area that you would like. For example, let's say that my area has the shape. For example, I will just select some random shape now. Let's say that I'm interested in this area. Okay. Now I will save my edit now here. Go to editor and then save edits and stop editing when you finish. Now I have this shape file which is called SA for study area. Okay, I will use now this shape file to cut out this area. Let's say that I'm interested in this area here. I will use this shape file that I created this polygon to clip the original image. I will go to search I will have my data management here and then I have this clip tool. I will start adding the original image that I would like to clip and then the output extent. This is the shape file that I have created. I call this SA for study area in my case. So I would say use this shape, shape file, this one, to clip out the area. Of course here we don't have anything here. Uh, we don't add any coordinates. We will tick this one, use the input features, which is this one. So we are going to use this shape file that I created to clip out the area. If you are happy with everything, now you can click OK. OK, 
Okay, let's just remove this one. Let's close this. Close this to see the area that we have cut out. So as you can see here, guys, so this is the area of my interest, which is exactly the same of the study area. This is my study area. This is the shape file that I have created. And then the tool clip have used the exact same shape for clipping the area, as you can see here. So this is now my area. So you can clip an area, guys, using two different methods. If your area is rectangle uh, and you know the coordinates or the extent of your area, you know the X minimum and Y minimum, X maximum and Y maximum for your area, you can provide the uh, coordinates here. In the tool, you can provide X minimum and Y minimum, X maximum and Y maximum here, and then you can clip out your rectangular area. But if you have a irregular shape like this one that we have used here, you can just provide the shape or create a shape file to include your area, and then you would tick this one here uh, to use the uh, shape that you created. Okay, so this is how to use ArcMap to clip an area using two different methods. I hope that this tutorial was useful to you guys, and I will see you next time. Bye now.